data quality, accuracy, timeliness, and accessibility. Now, data quality goes beyond data integrity and accuracy from when data is first validated. Information needs to be reliable and effective for the purposes of an organization. And this information that comes out of an information system aids the organization in achieving its goals. So that's the whole meaningfulness of this information, its usefulness to the organization. So essentially, that's what data quality is. Is the information that comes out of this information system useful to the organization? And how is it judged on how useful it is? Does it allow the organization to achieve its goals? So as mentioned in the title of this video, there are three areas of data quality, and that's what we're going to look at here. Accuracy, timeliness, and accessibility. So firstly, let's look at accuracy. And Accuracy relates to the fact that data needs to be correct, okay, and it needs to be from reliable sources, okay, and that's not just the fact that we've got correct data to put into our system, we also have to gather that data ourselves, okay, so when we actually go out there and obtain this data, whether it's from individuals or from research, okay, we need to double check that it's going to be correct when it goes into a system, okay, so we need to maintain the correctness of data from when it is entered into the system as well as being updated over time. So let's have a look at accuracy now and what features make accurate data when we put it into a system. Firstly is data validation. These are tools for checking data upon entry into the system. Now we can make many rules for checking data when it goes into a system. There's rules known as type checks, which uh, check the data type of data when it goes into a system. So it has to be either a number or it has to be text-based or a certain type of string, okay, or follow a specific format when it's entered into the system. Okay, and then we also have things such as operators that uh, make data relational. So values must lie within a specific range, and that's known as a range check. Okay, and so it can't be, for example, if we're looking up people's date of births, it might know that if the number doesn't start with 19 at the front, this date of birth can't really exist. Okay, if it's anything lower than 19, because we don't really have many people born in the 1800s. Might be a handful of the world, but I'm not sure about that. Moving on next is cross-referencing and this is when researching information you guys will know this when you do assessments in high school or at university okay we research uh, people and look into sources in order to find out information to put into our essays and the more research we do and the more cross-checking of our sources and making sure that our sources agree with one another the more likely the data that we're putting into our essay or in this case into our information system is likely going to be correct okay so we're checking our sources against each other to see the data we get is correct and then finally is data verification. Okay, and these are techniques that ask for confirmation from users by having them double check that data has been entered correctly once entry is complete. So you've filled all your data in, you've entered into the system. The system then goes to a screen and says, please double check the information you've provided. You read over it one more time and then you click yes to verify that you've entered the correct data. And there the responsibility is on you, the user, to double check that you've read it correctly and make sure your information was entered correctly. Next, we'll move on to timeliness. Now, timeliness relates to the fact that over time, data can become incorrect due to changing circumstances. So what this means is you might fill in your address details into a system, okay? You've signed up to your government website and you've written in your address. Now, let's say after a year you move house. Well, that address information that you've given the government is now wrong. Okay, so the government needs to have a way of knowing when you've changed addresses. Okay, now one way is obviously you can actually tell the government straight up, but good information systems also need to ask that of the user maybe periodically. Okay, so essentially a strategy needs to be developed to check and verify this data on the system. So a strategy may involve sending out a form to individuals at a periodic time, for example, yearly. Okay, this yearly form might say, here are your details. This is the addressing information we have. Here are the contact details that we have. Are they still correct? And you check your phone number, you check your address, and if it's all correct, you resubmit it back into the system, and that way the system's staying up to date. So essentially, timeliness is making sure that data stays correct over time. Okay, we need that data to be correct for data to stay quality. Finally, we'll look at accessibility. And accessibility essentially relates to users being able to access the information from within an information system. Now, while access can be limited for privacy and security reasons, we're specifically talking about intended users, okay? And intended users should be able to extract information from a system with ease. 
So what we need to really take into account here, firstly, is user friendliness. Can the users actually use this system with ease and it's actually easy for them to find the information as well as the user experience. Is the interface set up so that the actual interface is intuitive and it's easy for the users to get the data that they need? They're not going through uh, repetitive screens or clicking lots of buttons. Okay, there's easy ways for them to get the data, which is based on the system that they are using. Some systems may be complex, but is still extracting that information as easy as possible. We also look into disability provisions here, okay, which can be made if users have impairments, such as modifying screen colors for colorblind users. And there's also features such as text to speech, okay, which reads out the text that's on screen as well, as well for people with um, eye impairments and they can't see properly, okay. This still allows them to access information on a system and good information systems factor all this in. You may have played around with this on your operating system when you type things on the screen and then you get the operating system to read it out and it gives that robotic voice, okay, that reads it out for fun. But actually this is a very meaningful tool that allows people to access the operating system and makes their lives a lot easier. Okay, and essentially it allows anyone to access the quality data that is on the information system because it can be read by those intended users. So I hope this has given you a good understanding of what data quality is. Accuracy relating to data being entered into the system and it being correct at the time of entry. Timeliness meaning that we're checking data over time and ensuring that that data on the system stays correct. And accessibility meaning that for the intended users, they can easily access the information they require on the system to complete their day-to-day -day tasks.